no one knows you better than your pet. Mia is like literally my best friend. They're gonna show you love no matter how bad your day went. She snores like a grown man. When I get like nervous, they're here to calm me down. So like my good luck charms. Oh, Did you get that on camera? That's what I'm talking about. If Zeus could tweet, I feel like he would say a lot of good things about me. This is kind of gross, but I'm gonna share it anyway. Hey, ready? No. How's they sit? Here, ready? Go! Woo! Good boy! Yo, what's up? It's Sky Cats, rapper and actress, and these are my dogs, Annie, Angel, and Jose. This is actually a really big moment. Normally, they'd either be running around, they'd all be far from each other. So the fact that they're all here together, sitting down, relaxing, is a really big deal. So take it in, let's appreciate it. <laughs> and come get to know us better on this week's episode of Meet the Pets. This is Jose, he's a golden doodle, which is a poodle and golden retriever mix. Yeah, I know, he's, he's, he's my favorite. And then this is my second favorite. <laughs> And this is my least favorite. This is Angel, she's three years old. She's a Chewini and she's so cute. This is Annie, she's two years old. She's some crossbreed with the poodle. I'm not really sure which one. My family and I went on a vacation and we stayed on a farm and they had like a farm dog that kind of looked just like Jose. And it was so sweet. We were begging my mom for a dog. We were like, we need one just like this. We love him. And uh, my mom finally caved in after begging her for our whole lives. Yeah, so we got him first. Her second, we rescued her from Vanderpump Dogs. My mom and I love Lisa Vanderpump, so that was really exciting. And then... <laughs> She likes to run away. Um. <laughs> her personality, she's kind of the meanest out of the three of them, um, if you can't tell. She's fluffy and cute, so we love her. Yeah, it is. there is nothing like coming home and having dogs greet you. There's nothing like it. So this one jumps. She will jump until you pick her up and hold her like they do in The Lion King. So yeah, she, she loves getting some love. We got Angel at Vanderpump Dogs, which is in California. And in California is where I film Raven's Home. So we brought her to set that week and everyone on set loved her. Everyone kept coming to my room to, you know, meet the new dog that's on set. So yeah, I, I brought her to set a lot and she loved it. <laughs> she loved all the attention. You know who I'd love to collab eventually with Megan The Stallion, it'd be sick. I also love Nicki Minaj. I love all the female rappers. Um, uh, yeah, they're, they're so dope. In the upcoming year, I'm excited to honestly just continue doing what I've been doing in the previous years and just get better and better at it. I have a music video coming out, along with the song, of course, and I just want to drop new music and there's more Raven Song coming out, so stay tuned. If my dogs could tweet, I feel like Annie would wake up and be like, messy hair, don't care. I don't know, she's just... She's just careless, I, I, and I love that about her. I feel like she just tweet whatever comes to her mind. She doesn't really care what people think. Jose would tweet like positive things. Um, he'd tweet things like, be happy today, smile today. Angel would be very honest. Angel would say, today wasn't a good day, and then she'd be positive. She'd be like, but I'm excited for tomorrow. All right, so I'm gonna do my best to Get them to do all the tricks that they're capable of normally and let's see if they listen. All right, so this one's already sitting because as soon as she sees food, she just wants, wants it right away and we'll do whatever she can to get it. Which is sitting and she knows that. Pretty, pretty, come here. Here, sit. See, she doesn't do it. And then this one, come on. Jose, sit. Down. Good boy. Sit. Paw. Good boy. There's the chicken. We have chickens too, don't ask. The dynamic between the chickens and the dogs, they, they get along. Like, for the most part, they kind of just ignore each other. She'll try to be friendly and get really close to them and like sniff them and then the chickens will just walk away. Jose, on his second birthday, we got him this huge birthday cake and my family and I, we all left for a second and we come back and the cake is totally gone. He jumped up on the counter and he ate the whole entire cake, 
We were like, whoa! And uh, yeah, that was not a great night for my dad who had to keep getting up and let Jose outside so that he had to do his thing there. <laughs> We've all had that moment where we ate a little too much cake. <laughs> I know I have. He's the most aggressive defender ever. <laughs> oh, he got it. <laughs> He breaks a, f a few rules. He definitely fouls me a bunch, and every now and then a, a bite, and I don't think that's allowed, but it's okay. <laughs> it's fine. This year, given, given that we were had to quarantine and all that, it's so nice having them. They're like best friends, and you could tell them whatever you want to tell them, and you know they won't tell anyone else. <laughs> so it's nice venting to them. That's a really beautiful thing. I love them. Thank you all so much for watching. It was nice having you guys here. <laughs> Bye. Coming up next. Girl, get up. We have an interview right now. Mia. Mia, girl. Uh, girl, uh, please. Girl, uh, get up. We have an interview right now. Who's that, Mia? Who's that? Who's that, Mia? Who's that, Mia? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that, Mia? Who's that? Someone's here. Kill, 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 kill. Not him, not him, not him. What's T, sweetie? It's your favorite cover girl, Bia, checking in live, and my favorite second cover girl, Mia, and this is Meet the Pets. You know, she's a fashion dog. She loves bows and coordinating. So usually, uh, she has like orange sweaters on, or Louis sweaters, or Adidas sweaters, but today, she just has her bone sweet bone hair bows. And when I get her groomed, they, they always hook her up with cute bows, pink, purple, um, whatever color she likes at that time. So Mia is my five-year-old Yorkie. Mia, can you please look at the camera, girl? Mia, can you let them get a good look at you, girl? She's showing off right now, but she's my five-year-old Yorkie. She's five going on 35. She's a very, very majestic woman. Yeah, I met Mia in Boston. I got her from a friend. When her dad got had his puppies, they were just like, you know, giving them away, selling them, and I was like, I want a girl, like I want this one. And she came with me, and she's been with me ever since. My favorite thing about Mia's personality is she smiles. She's a very, very happy dog. Like, she smiles at least like five times a day. If I, if I see her and I'm like, hey, Mia girl, what's tea? And I'm like, oh, you're so pretty, you're so pretty. She gets really happy and she starts smiling. Mia is like literally my best friend. It's so funny because all my friends say she's my child dog. And she's just the sweetest, cutest thing. Like she's a cuddling girl. All she want to do is just lay on you and cuddle and just get rubbed and go to the studio and run around. Mia is so used to the studio that this is all she does. Like, she comes to the studio, she finds a spot, she gets comfortable because she knows we're gonna be there for a while. I think she just gets a little like separation anxiety from me, so I try to take her with me as much as I can, you know, so she's just not lonely because I'd rather her sit in the studio than sit in the house by herself. Sisterhood of hip hop. It was great because TV, there's no outlet like TV. You know, when you get exposed to TV and television fans, that's like unbelievable, but um, I'm thankful for that. But I don't think reality TV is more for me. So yeah, I'm just really excited for this year, whatever's to come, like we've been working really hard and I'm looking forward to shows when they get back to like things get back to normal. If there's a way that I can go and be with the fans because I love performing and I love being in front of the people. But um, I've been working on um, shooting a lot of videos and I've been working on a lot of R&B music and just trying to find different sounds um, that make me feel good. Something that feels like no one's doing it. I don't have a favorite person I collaborated with because I love everybody I collaborated with in a different way. Like I've learned something from everyone. Like Russ is a genius. Um, like Kelly Uchis, she's a vibe. I love Ariana Grande, J Balvin. Like I've collaborated with some incredible people so I can't pick. If Mia could tweet, she would talk so much <laughs> Mia would tweet about her food. She loves fish oil. She loves dog ice cream. She loves peanut butter. She loves anything peanut butter. We always say that she has like an, like an English voice. Like you stupid peasants. Like you stupid humans. I'm so above you. <laughs> like, she's so posh. Mia's voice is very much like that. My mom is such a
Welcome to the pet challenge. Let's see how Mia does. Mia, sit. Oh, good girl. Mia, shake. Mia, Mia, shake. Mia, shake. Come on, come on, come on. Mia, please shake. Mia, shake. Thank you. <laughs> when we go to CVS and she takes shit in CVS. I don't know what it is about like CVS, Walgreens, Target. It's like my dog cannot walk through that place without taking a <laughs> Like, are you gonna embarrass me like that right now? And she's trained, so it's like, you always go outside. Why would you think it's okay to go in here? I feel like she knows what space is. Like, ah, oh, CVS, I gotta get one off here. Like, you know, like it's always CVS or Target. Like, she's gonna sneak something off. But in here, like workspaces, no, she's great. So I gotta get back to work. I wanna thank you guys for vibing with me and my girl Mia. It's your favorite couple girls checking out live on Meet the Pet. Coming up next. Did you see how he just popped her in the face? That's what I'm talking about. Radio is exactly my boyfriend. Just very much like quiet, reserved, not bothered too much. That, I feel like I'm painting my boyfriend in a light that is not him. He's a great guy. <laughs> Hi, welcome to my home. I'm Gabby Hanna. This is Freddie Percury. I also have a little girl over there named Radio Gaga. I am an artist and musician, and these are my pets, so welcome to Meet the Pets. Dude, I swear to God, he knows what cameras are, and he does not like to be on it. Ah! So I had been looking for cats for a really long time, and I uh, was looking for hypoallergenic cats, because both my boyfriend and I are allergic. My friend hit me up and she said, there's this litter of Siamese kittens. You just have to go meet them. And the second I walked in, I saw Freddy just bouncing around. He was the whitest, tallest, lankiest little thing. And I just fell in love with him immediately. Siamese cats are supposed to be hypoallergenic. Spoiler alert, they're not. But yeah, they were just found under a house and uh, they came into my life and I fell in love with them and then my boyfriend picked radio. They both like me the best though. So Freddie Percury and Radio Gaga are both Queen references. I love Queen, they're my biggest inspiration in music and Freddie Mercury himself is one of my biggest inspirations just in life. So I wanted my cats to reflect that. Her original name was actually Popcorn, which is super cute and sometimes I still call her Popcorn, but I love a good theme. <laughs> These cats honestly changed my life in so many ways. I know that sounds so dramatic, but it's why I love them so much and why I care about them so much because I feel like they came into my life at a time that I was really needing something to slow me down. Freddie, even though he's not acting like it, is my best friend in the world. He's actually like a legitimate anxiety cat. If I am feeling anxious, he can feel it and he will come up and very aggressively start purring. He'll start uh, pulling at my bracelets and pushing his body into mine, purring as hard as he can. Um, they can definitely feel my energy. I mean, they're literally just my best friends. Like, I love them. They're so soft too, so they're nice to touch. <laughs> I am Freddy Percury. Like he is me, he's like, he wants affection when he wants it, and then when he wants it, he wants it a lot. Chaotic energy, he's very interested in what everybody's eating all the time. And radio is exactly my boyfriend. Just very much like quiet, reserved, not bothered too much. I feel like I'm painting my boyfriend in a light that is not him, he's a great guy. <laughs> But he's, we're definitely a yin and yang just like them. And it's funny because I picked Freddie and he picked radio, so. <laughs> I think that Freddie is so in your face and dominant that if he wants attention, he will get it in the middle of the day. He also loves to play and like rough house, but she's the runt and he's the biggest. So to him, he's playing and to her, she feels like she's being attacked. That's why we got that tree. Cause she needed um, a place to be herself. It sounds, I, I know I sound like a cat lady and like, if you want to call me a cat lady, fine. I just really love my cats and like, that's a good thing. <laughs> How's my journey been is such a very lovely, open-ended and vague question. Cause it could go a lot of ways. I think I'm just now realizing within the last couple months that I do live a remarkable life because I feel like it's been really hard for me to look at my accomplishments or the things that I've done and feel 
proud of myself because it always felt like it wasn't enough. Um, and I'm finally reaching a point where I realized that I've done more than I ever imagined that I would as a kid. Yeah, one of the craziest stories about Freddy is the time he was almost eaten by a coyote. It was so scary. I opened the door to let a guest in, and I walked into the driveway to greet them, and Freddy got out of the front door, and I told my boyfriend, babe, please get Freddy. He ran out. He didn't hear me. I thought he did. I was recording a podcast, and somebody was pounding at the door, so my boyfriend went and opened it, and it was my neighbor. And my boyfriend came in and said, dude, Fred was almost just eaten by a coyote. The neighbor was walking her dog, and the dog ran into our yard and scared off the coyote. And then Freddy ran up the palm tree and jumped into the backyard because <laughs> when he went out there, Freddy was like completely in shock and very limp. And he let my boyfriend pick him up and take care of him and be safe for him. So that was kind of their moment. So I scrapped my original album and I started a new one, which is very exciting. It's way cooler. It's more me is the sound that I've always wanted to do that's lived in my head since I was a 15 year old girl. So putting out music and representing myself in the way that I actually feel like I am truly expressing who I am is probably the most exciting thing in my life ever. Because I was already in the spotlight and my first song went kind of viral and it was like, as soon as that happened, I was being put in rooms where people were saying, let's recreate this song. Um, but I've only ever listened to rock music. Did you, did you see it? Did you see how he just bopped her in the face? Did you get that on camera? That's what I'm talking about. If Freddie could tweet, he would literally just be tweeting about being the king of the universe. This is Freddie Mercury's world and we're all living it. And honestly, I'm fine with it. As long as he's nice to his sister, right? She would probably not tweet because she'd be napping or hiding. She's a very private person. She's not really a social media person. Freddie would be a social media star. The one thing that I can say about myself is that I've tried everything. I've tried hosting, I've tried acting, I've tried stand-up, I've tried music, I've tried writing, I've tried art, I've done it all. And now I can confidently say that the thing that I want to do because it fulfills me the most is music. This is the pet challenge. Hey, do you want to get up? Do you want this treat? Do you want to ignore me? Freddy, how about you? What do you say, Fred? Do you want up? Get up, get up, come on. This is actually how you know my cat is well-trained because he's not attacking me for food. Oh my God, you're so cute. Are you kidding me? I love it so much. Do you want to show them how you would attack a cockroach if it was in my house? Wow. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, be cute. Be a baby. Oh, this is your trick. You're so good at being a baby. Good job being a baby, Fred. Can we take a second to talk about this pillow, though? Like, <laughs> if you want to call me a cat lady because I love my cats and want them to be happy, fine. Why would you get a pet unless you were going to be obsessed with them? I'm a cat lady. Fine. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. Me, Freddie Percury, and Radio Gaga had a great time, and we really hope to see you soon. Bye. Coming up next. Don't ever leave me, okay? Come on, my love. Okay, come on. Oh, oh, it's okay, okay. Why don't you give me my arms? Hi, everybody. I'm Allie Brooke. I was in the girl group with Harmony, and now I am on my own as a solo artist. I am here with my cats, Lady Belle and Minnie, and you're watching Meet the Pets. And I am here with one of my babies. This is Lady Belle. She's hiding in my arms. She's a little camera shy. <laughs> Minnie, you want to give it a try? It's a really cool story on how I got Lady Bell and Minnie. Back in 2018, I was asked by the ASPCA because I'm one of their ambassadors 
if I would be interested in fostering kittens. And I said, oh my gosh, of course, I love kittens. And little did I know what I was getting myself into. <laughs> um, I guess I just didn't realize that I would see them and completely fall in love. And then seeing these kittens so small in front of me with their little faces so adorable, they really did look like angels. Instantly, I knew that they were mine. I would describe Minnie as the baby of the family. She's so small and she's literally a baby. She acts like a baby. She's just the cutest little thing ever and she has so much personality. So Lady Belle is definitely the older sister. She's never mean to her sister. Oh, did I mention that they have their own room? Here is their very own room. And they have their toys here. I cleaned it up for you guys so it's not as messy. Minnie's so unpredictable, she'll do whatever. Lady Belle's a little bit more like traditional. Oh, show them your skills. Rawr, oh, rawr. You mad? Go, go, go. Oh, get it, get it, get it, yay! <laughs> One of my favorite people that I've collaborated with would have to be Tyga. He was on my very first single called Low Key, and he was so cool, down to earth, humble, ready for anything, super talented, and uh, I really loved working with him. This year, I'm looking forward to a lot. Number one is my very first film called High Expectations. Um, I cannot wait for the premiere of that and for that to come out. Um, and then another thing is I just came out with my book called Finding Your Harmony and continuing to share my story and shine a light on that is something so meaningful to me. And then always coming out with new music, giving my fans bops and keeping them fed. One day I was looking for, for Minnie, I couldn't find her, and I was freaking out, I was about to cry, I looked everywhere, and then all of a sudden I hear a noise behind my dresser, and she literally was underneath the dresser in a dark place, I don't know how she was able to get there, and I was just like, oh my gosh, so I was so scared, I learned my lesson, I put clothes there so she doesn't hide there again, but I was terrified because I couldn't find her. My, my fear was that maybe she went outside, but she scared the outside, so that also kind of comforted me, but I was, oh, that was so scary. That's the scariest thing. Don't ever leave me, okay? <laughs> if they were gonna tweet about me, they would probably tweet, we run mommy's life, because they do. I, <laughs> they'll wake me up and I'll have to wake up even if I'm so tired. If they want to play, I'll play with them. So my babies, Lady Bell and Minnie, have taught me so much. They've taught me what it means in a way to be a parent. I don't think that it was a coincidence that the ASPCA asked me to foster back in 2018 and I said yes and all the dots that were connected um, so beautifully. I didn't rescue them. They, they rescued me. All right, everybody, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so happy I was able to introduce you guys to Lady Bell and Minnie Mouse. Make sure to comment below which one's your favorite. Better be none, because guess what? They both better be your favorite, okay? <laughs> Say bye.